In this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, you will learn how to create automatically doors very easily. In your content, I added a starter content. Then we need to go to props. And here are some doors. For example, this is a door. But we need to create a blueprint. So right click, blueprint class, actor. Let's name this one door. Open it up. And I need to drag my door mesh into my blueprint. So this is the door that we will be working on. We also need to add a box collision. So box, right now it's a child of door. So make sure it's not a child. So I drag it on top again, so it is loose of it. So now we need to set this collision, make it bigger, a little bit bigger here as well. Look at it from different angles to see if it fits. Because when our player collides with this one, I want the door to open. So compile. This is good. So we go down here with the box selected. On component begin overlap. Hit the plus icon. I will check if my player collides with the box collision. So drag off. Cast to third person character. Because that's the example map that I'm in right now. Then we need to create a timeline. So my doors open smoothly. So drag off create a timeline. Name it door timer or something, anything you like. Double click on the door timer. Let's add a flow track. Sh uh, let's name this door timer or something. Shift click to create a node here. Zero, enter value of zero. Then once more, shift click add a new one. Give it a value of one and a time of one. For example, if you want the door to open in a second, you can also tweak these values. You can also click here to fit it to the screen. Compile, we don't need this anymore. Hit the little X icon right there. Now, we need to get the door. So, drag in the door. We're going to set the relative rotation. Not location, but rotation. Because when I go to my viewport and I click on my door mesh, when I rotate, you can see here the blue line is the Z axis. So when I move it 90 degrees, the door will open. So this is what I want to do in my event graph as well. So we need to exit the z-axis, right click, split, split your turn. We need to connect this one up and also get our timer. Multiply it by 90 because you want to add it in 90 degrees and connect this up to the new rotation. So compile, go back to your level, drag in your new blueprint that we created, not the static mesh. Remember, if we created a blueprint for this. And when I hit play, you can see the door opens. Now there are some nifty tricks I want to show you. Let's say I want to automatically close the door when I just left it. Again, in the viewport, you can have your box collision because that's when it checks if the player collides with it. And when it ends the overlap, we can also do this in reverse. So I can duplicate this, select this, Ctrl W, connect these nodes once more and put this pin in reverse. So now I hit compile play. The door opens. And when I leave, the door closes again. So another cool possibility. We set the relative rotation so the door rotates. But what I can also use is set relative location. So this is different. Once again, split structure pen. Connect this one up and let's say something like 250. When I now pin it in the location Z, look what happens. See, we have a door that moves up and down. You can also alt click and make a sliding door if you put it in the Y axis. So now it slides and when I move back, it slides back. So this is relative location you cannot set relative rotation that's the most normal so these are different possibilities to create your door in unreal engine 5.